The promise of AI and government is simple. A pure, unbribable efficiency. It is a tool that can be used against human corruption. But if an algorithm is immune to the money and influence peddling, does that make it immune to the rule of law? For example, take the case of Ukraine's DIA AI. It's been launched in September this year as the world's first national AI assistant that delivers government services directly in a chat rather than just offering information. Citizens can request official documents like income certificates through a simple text or voice command. This innovation is part of Ukraine's goal to become one of the leaders in public sector AI adoption by 2030, transforming the state into an agentic system that anticipates users' needs. But here's the catch. The efficient, proactive system is an algorithm at its core. The question now actually becomes, does a fight for greater efficiency and an agentic state simply create a mystery machine that cannot be held accountable? And who is really accountable when the AI makes a mistake? This question is way past the theoretical stage. AI systems used for essential public services are already causing legal and constitutional harm to people in multiple places all across the globe. In the United States, an automated system in Michigan wrongly flagged over 40,000 citizens for unemployment fraud. The result was a huge number of fines and bankruptcies. Also in Idaho, a flawed algorithm cuts some Medicaid benefits from its rightful beneficiaries. These are not minor errors. They're violations of basic due process and civil rights. The citizens have a right to appeal and to face their accuser, but code is not something that can easily be cross-examined. Regulators are now trying to draw a line. As you know from one of our earlier videos pointed at explaining different risk levels under the EU AI Act, any system used for access to essential public services, such as hiring or law enforcement, is classified as high risk. This mandates strict requirements, full transparency, quality data, and maybe most importantly, adequate human oversight. The AI may assist, but a person must be the one who is the decision maker. AI offers governance a powerful tool to clean up the state, but the power to automate critical public decisions that affect the fundamental rights of citizens must be matched by legal accountability, or else we could risk experiencing different types of issues. To learn more about this and other topics, watch our next video.